I'm having trouble speaking just because I'm salivating so much. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today is the second part of my bolognese sauce. So today we're going to make a lasagna with it. It's going to be nice and quick. I had this bolognese frozen from last week. I just tasted it and it's still as good. So we're just going to do a bechamel sauce. We're going to learn how to set up a lasagna. We're going to cook it and then eat it. Or well, at least I'm going to eat it. And then if you make it at home, you can eat it too. So if you like lasagna, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. So if you want to see how this lasagna is done, keep on watching this video. So to start, I'm going to do the bechamel sauce. That's the only thing that I need to cook really because I only already have my bolognese sauce ready here. I grated my cheeses and so it's all done. Even yesterday I made some fresh pasta that I have frozen. So if you want to see that recipe as well, that's also on the blog and you can find the link in the recipe post. Of course, if you want to use store-bought pasta, that is completely fine. You can do it without a problem and follow the instructions on the box that you buy so that you make sure that it's going to cook nicely in the oven. To begin, I have here some butter that I'm going to melt along with some um, flour. And then I'm going to also grate a bit of nutmeg in there because it's just so nice for bechamel sauce. And we're gonna let it cook for about a minute. Once you have cooked the butter with the flour, you're going to remove it from the heat and add the milk little by little to prevent any lumps from forming. Then it's going to go back onto the heat and you want to bring it to a boil and keep it there for about a minute so that it can thicken properly. To finish it off, we're going to add some salt and pepper and then it's ready to be used. Now on to the fun part, we're going to assemble our lasagna. At the very bottom you want to add a thin layer of bechamel sauce, just so that the pasta won't stick to it. Like I mentioned, my pasta is fresh, so it doesn't need to be pre-cooked. But if you're using store-bought pasta, then you want to make sure that you read the instructions on the package of your pasta so that you know if you need to pre-cook it first or if it goes straight in. On top of our pasta goes some, bolo some bolognese sauce and then some bechamel sauce on top. On top of the bechamel sauce, we're going to add some freshly grated parmesan and mozzarella cheese. It's really important that you freshly grate your parmesan and mozzarella cheese because it melts so much nicer than the one that you buy that is pre-grated. I repeated these layers three times and then on top you finish with pasta, bolognese sauce and cheese. Nothing else, no bechamel here. And also on the top layer, I like to put only parmesan cheese instead of the mix, just because I like the way it becomes nice and golden and also a bit crispy in the oven. It's now going to go into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit until it's bubbling, you want to see it golden on top. It's going to take about 30 to 45 minutes. Once it comes out of the oven, you want to let it rest for at least 10 minutes. And the reason behind this is that if you cut it straight out of the oven, it's going to fall apart. Let's try this. The bolognese sauce is spectacular, the one that we did last week, but also with the cheese and the bechamel sauce and the pasta. Oh my God, this is so good. That was my bolognese lasagna. I really hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up to this video. And if you make it, send me a photograph so that I can share it on my stories. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you on the next one.